Um, we have today with us Patterns Physician Liaison, a Dr. Francis May Hardin. Dr. Hardin is a full-time anti-surgeon, physician, writer, speaker, founder of Rethinking Rep Residency, and host of the podcast Promising Young Surgeon. She's a passionate advocate for physician wellness at all levels, including residency and fellowship, and we're so grateful to speak with her today. Uh, thank you for being here, Dr. Hardin, and welcome to the webinar. Thank you so much, Andrea. It's a pleasure to be here with you. I'm excited to kick around, you know, these top questions by female physicians regarding disability insurance. You know, again, to add to the beautiful introduction that you've provided, I'm an early career ENT attending, and mm -hmm. I do have disability insurance now, but halfway through my five-year surgical residency, I had no idea what I was doing, what disability insurance was, why I needed it, what exclusions were. And so today I'm going to basically walk us through, I'm going to ask the questions that I wanted to ask back then, because we have an expert here in Andrea, and we're going to dive deeper into DI for female physicians specifically. Absolutely. Absolutely. Perfect. So we'll just jump right in. First question, why is disability insurance more expensive for women? I mean, I get this question probably every time I talk to a woman. So, so common. Um, one of the biggest reasons why it's more expensive for women is women become disabled more often than men. Um, statistically speaking, um, we just become more disabled and that could be because of physiology, anatomy, who knows, or it could be because women are reporting claims more often, going to the doctor more often. Um, but for whatever reason it is, we just become disabled more often than men. Uh, our disabilities last longer. Uh, it's funny because a lot of women, uh, especially kind of certain women who aren't for sure if they want disability insurance, they'll say, you know, why do I need this? You know, if I get cancer or something, I'm just going to pass away right away and never actually use this coverage. Uh, but statistically speaking, actually, when people, uh, especially women, get disabled and a, a big cause is cancer, uh, we tend to live through that longer. Um, so that disability, mm -hmm. whether it's cancer, whether it's something else, tends to last quite a long time when compared to men who statistically, if they get disabled, it's very short. Um, they either recover or unfortunately may pass away from their disability uh, far more often um, than women do. So because of that long length of time for disability, um, being disabled more often, um, that relates to those higher costs. Um, okay, and just perfect. That. Yeah. And that totally makes sense. And you don't need to tell me that men seek medical care less and probably <laughs> file less because certainly even anecdotally in my practice, a lot of the gentlemen are being dragged in to clinic, you know, by spouses and partners and things <laughs> like that. So thank God for the women, honestly, like shout out to women. 